Hey guys, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. Today we're going to be going over how to add money to your HiveOS account. Now, there are a couple different ways to mine on HiveOS, and some are free, and the other way is to pay. So, let me go ahead and just hop over here and show you what their package is real quick, and then we'll get right into how to add that money. So, first is that you always get one rig completely for free. Now, if you're doing Ethereum or Ethereum Classic, when you add your second rig, you are going to have to pay for that one. The option is that you can also use their pool to mine to, and it's a 3% fee, but then it makes it free for you. Now, if you want, you can have up to four rigs that are free, but they would have to be one Ethereum and then say three Ravencoin miners, or, or all Ravencoin for that matter, you know. But once you add your second Ethereum uh, or Ethereum Classic rig, that's when you're gonna get charged or let's say you had four Ravencoin rigs and you added your fifth, then you'd start getting charged for your fifth. All of my rigs are running on uh, Ethereum right now. I'm just testing out some stuff. So right now they're going to be charging me. Um, but that's which way you want to use it is up to you. This entire video is not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing with mine. And I'm just showing you how uh, to add some money if you decide to go in that direction. In the end, when you're talking about what it's going to cost for me it's going to be costing me uh the fee per day to run those two other rigs because the first one's free and then also of course i use two miners that's my preference you've got yours uh two miners charges one percent so the other side is that i turn all of them on to hive pool and then they're all free and i pay three percent as a whole so whichever way works out to be the best financially for you is your choice uh, for me, I've made my decision and we're going to go ahead and hop over here. So this is my dashboard. All we're going to go over here is we're going to go over to uh, billing. And here you can see that I have, uh, well, let's just look on top real quick. I have zero funds because I'm not mining on their pool. My balance is $59.18. I started with $60. So right here for 19 cents a day my three rigs can mine now remember that's really they're charging me for two rigs the third rig or the first rig is free and the second and third one cost me 19 cents a day so um, that's uh, again the decision that you're going to have to make which works out better for you so i pay 19 cents a day plus one percent uh, pool fee to two miners or you can pay 3% straight to uh, Hive OS for their pool, and then you don't pay the 19 cents a day. If you have more rigs, obviously that number will go up. If you only have two rigs, one of them's free, and you're only being charged for the other, obviously that fee for the per day would go down. Um, I personally, I would like to be able to test out other pools and be able to jump around, and you know, I like to make these videos, so, I went ahead and did the paid option because that gives me the freedom to, like I said, try out other pools and see which one gives me the best return. Uh, perhaps for you, you're not making videos and it's cheaper to do the 3%. Again, you'll have to work out that math for yourself. Even if this does cost me a little bit more, I figure for, you know, 309 days, it's almost a year for 60 bucks. You know, let's say maybe it would be 70 bucks for the year. Um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with 70 bucks for a year uh, to use this platform and have the freedom to check out other pools and not have to worry about anything. I just chalk this up as an expense to my mining. So um, uh, I have just gotten more and more into Hive and I appreciate it more. You know, if you've watched my other videos, you've seen the overclocking, which has become super easy to do on here. Um, not that I don't like Windows. I love Windows and I love, you know, Afterburner, but uh, that's where I started, and I've been slowly moving more and more over to here. I like the fact, if you've seen that other video, another shameless plug, link in the description below, uh, on how to update your drivers for your video cards or roll them back to a previous version that may be working better. I like that there's the option to uh, choose which miner you want to use and which version you want to use. You know, on Windows, you'll have to download each version individually. Here, you can just choose a drop down and choose the miner. So I think that the, you know, the options and the ability to move throughout, you know, this, this platform that easy is turned me more and more into a fan. You know, 
uh, I'm not affiliated with Hive. They don't pay me for this. You know, I'm just simply telling you this is what I've slowly learned and I've been moving closer and closer. Uh, I've got four total rigs. Three of them are on here. The fourth one is the one that I use for my recording. And when I'm not doing this, I just leave it on uh, Ethereum on uh, two miners here on Windows. But the ones that I use uh, that are straight miners over there, they're all on Hive. So anyway, uh, you probably could have skipped across all of this and gotten to the point you wanted to see, which is the money. So we're going to come down here and what you're going to look for, there's, there's two options here. You can choose Hive or you can use Coin Payments. If you choose Hive, you'll click this drop down and it'll give you a, uh, an option to either use ERC20 or the BEP20. Now, the ERC20 is the Ethereum smart chain, and everybody knows this one. This is what most everybody uses. The other one is going to be the Binance smart chain. So depending on where your money is, if you're familiar with Binance and you used it, then you would choose this one right here. If I choose this one, it will immediately move all of these uh, Binance um, coins down into the list below right here. I've already chose uh, the ERC20 for Ethereum, and uh, this is the Binance one, but I chose it right here, and it already populated below here. So unfortunately, I can't show you that again. Um, but you know what I could do? I could do the Binance one, and just to show you what it'll do once I choose that, once I click Add, it should move all of those down below as well, even though I don't use Binance, and there they are. So uh, now you can see they've all populated down here, and I'm just going to have to make sure if I ever want to load this with one of these that I make sure I choose the ERC20, which is right there. And that's the address I'd want to copy and use to make my payments. Again, if you use Binance, then you use the BEP20 and you would copy that address. These addresses are specific for me. So when I send money to this address, it will, um, it will go to my account. So, uh, when I'm doing mine, I chose to do it with Litecoin. So we're going to use Litecoin today if you want to use uh, any of these. You know what? I did Litecoin initially, and it's the same exact way. But you know what? We'll do Ethereum this time. And uh, let's make sure ERC20. And we'll go ahead and copy that address. So now that we've copied it, I will say the difference is that probably there's going to be more gas fees with the Ethereum than I had with Litecoin. And that's why I initially chose Litecoin. That'll be up to you to decide. So anyway, we're going to bring up our Exodus wallet. And from here, we will go to Ethereum and we will send. We will put the address in here. And then we choose uh, how much money we want to send, you know. So uh, I will send. Um, let's see if I can send, uh, you know, 20 bucks. All right, we'll send another 20 bucks over. Um, let's see the network fee for this. $14.73 maximum. But who's to say I don't hit that, right? Man, is that crazy? All right, you know what? Um, I would click send and then it would go to my account. But you know what? I'm just going <laughs> to look at the Litecoin really quick. And... Um, show you that also so really quick this one you choose coin payments and you click the drop down and you choose the coin you want and then click add okay it won't show it in mine again because i've already done it and it's down here it only has two options bitcoin and litecoin again i used litecoin before so let's click on litecoin this time and let's bring up our exodus wallet and we will send and we'll put an address here and uh Let's do $20 here. And the, the fee for loading it with Litecoin is so small that it is 0, 0.00. Okay. I'm going to use this one <laughs> because I really, I love you all, but to spend an extra, you know, ridiculous amount of money on gas fees for no reason, um, you know, I have the L3++ and the L3++ machines in Crazy Town. I got a couple of those going. And so I get a little Litecoin from that. And I'm just fine by using the Litecoin to load this. So I'm going to go ahead and click Send. 
and let me just uh, verify that address. Okay, just wanted to make sure the two addresses were correct. And we will click send. And it is sent. So that is it. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Excuse me. I just had a little breakfast. And we're going to have to wait on this. So right up here, we sent $20. So we should have $79 in here uh, in 18 cents. And that does take a little time because first what it's going to do, it's going to send it to um, the coin payments address once coin payments gets it. And that could take 15 minutes, you know, for some of these transactions to go through. So they'll receive it in 15 minutes. Once their side updates and they say that they've got it, then that may take a few minutes. Then they'll notify over to Hive and let Hive know that they've got the money and that I can it can be added to the account. And then Hive will update on their side and they'll add it over here. This could take 20 minutes maybe, uh, you know, maybe a half an hour for this to finally populate. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and I'll come back and we'll check on that balance and we'll go from there. I'll see you in a couple minutes. All right, guys, I'm back and we've got 20 bucks in our account. Well, we have 79 bucks now. We had 59. Now we have 79. That $20 went through. Took about 20 minutes or so and uh, it was pretty easy. So, you know, in short, make sure you know whether you're using the Binance chain or the Ethereum uh, network and you also check your fees. Obviously, those gas fees, that was like $14 in gas fees for me to send that money through the Ethereum or to be honest, through most any of these coins, uh, the fee will be pretty high. I had some Litecoin when I checked that fee, you know, it was uh, $0.00. .00. Uh, the fee was so small, it didn't even register to be a penny. So, you know, that sounds perfect to me uh, rather than $14. If you have to use Ethereum and that's your only option, make sure you load up for like six months worth. Uh, otherwise, if you do it monthly, you're going to be paying a fee every single month and it'll add up and it won't make it as profitable. So if I had used Ethereum for this, I would have to calculate that $14 into my daily fee and then spread that out so I could tell how much more money I would have spent if you're really trying to get down to the brass tax of the 3% pool fee over the daily fee you also have to calculate that in because I had Litecoin it basically was free for me to send it um, so I'm not even worried about that uh, you know again not financial advice uh, you do whatever's best for you and your wallet for me to put the 80 bucks in here, I have 585 days of mining available. You know, that breaks down to be, I did it over here, it takes about $51.10 for me to mine for a whole year. And I got to tell you, for the three rigs, the one that's free and the two that I'm being charged for, for about 50 bucks a year to not have to worry about it, to be able to jump around to different pools and try other things out, to make new content for you. Um, it gives me that freedom and peace of mind that I don't have to worry about this. You know, um, I, again, chalk it up as an added expense, but for 50 bucks to basically have complete access to everything on this platform, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. So, you know, now I've got more than enough to use this for as long as I need to here for another year and a half. So, um, I'm pretty good over here. Hopefully, uh, my daily fee goes up because I'll have more rigs, and that'll be super cool. But, um, you know, uh, for now, that's it. So, uh, again, make sure you know which one you're using over here, uh, the Ethereum or the Binance chain. And if you have the option to use Litecoin, for me, that was super cheap, and um, it may be uh, just as cheap for you. So, anyway, y'all, I appreciate you watching. Drop some comments below. Tell me which direction you went in. Uh, you know, have you been using just the pool or do you go with the straight uh, balance like I did? Uh, you know, which way works best for you? I'd love to I'd love to hear about it. And of course, you know, I'm trying to build up the channel a little bit. So a whole bunch of those super cool. And of course, if you want to subscribe, that's that's really something else, too. Uh, we're, we're, we're closing in on 100, y'all. And I appreciate every one of you. Um, an amazing, amazing ride it's been. 
getting to this point and I am uh, I'm just super stoked I've got some more stuff that I'm doing today so I'm gonna be doing a video in just a couple minutes I was just waiting for this one to wrap up with that balance coming through and if you have any questions please drop them in the uh, uh, section below and I'll try to answer all of them all right I'll see y'all next time thanks for checking in